So here's our equation for average speed. Average speed equals the total distance traveled divided by the total time it took to travel that distance. I emphasize total because it's an important part of finding average speed. For example, if we said that this car traveled 30 miles and it took two hours, then the average speed of the car for that period is 30 miles divided by two hours or 15 miles per hour. Seems pretty straightforward, right? Take a look at this example. A car drives 150 miles at 50 miles per hour, then drives for another 150 miles at 75 miles per hour. What is the average speed of the car for the whole trip? So what are the important pieces of information in this word problem? We're given some numbers. The car drives 150 miles at 50 miles per hour and 150 miles at 75 miles per hour and we're being asked to find the average speed. So we see the word average. We know what average means. We know how to take a group of numbers and find the average, right? So to find average speed, can we just find the average of 50 miles per hour and 75 miles per hour? That would be 50 miles per hour plus 75 miles per hour divided by two, which gives us 62.5 miles per hour. That seems logical, right? Well, this is actually not the average speed. Remember, this is how we define it. The average speed equals the total distance divided by the total time. So we know the total distance, 150 miles plus 150 miles, gives us 300 miles. But we don't know the total time. How can we find it? Well, we know the distance and the speed of the car for each part of this trip. So what we can do is find the amount of time the car traveled for each part of the trip and then add them together to get the total time. So for the first part of our trip, we have 150 miles divided by 50 miles per hour, which equals three hours. For the second part of the trip, we have 150 miles divided by 75 miles per hour, which equals two hours. So the total time for the entire trip is three plus two, or five hours. Now we can calculate the average speed of the car for the entire trip, which equals 60 miles per hour. So that is the actual average speed that this problem is asking us to find. So why is this answer correct? And why is it different than the one we got before? So this first method of finding average speed feels right, doesn't it? 62.5 is halfway between 50 and 75, which is how we're used to finding the average of two numbers. But the correct average speed, 60, is less than that. It's closer to 50 than it is to 75. So why is that? The car even drove the exact same distance at each of these two speeds. So it feels like each speed is equally important. Like, if you imagined a balance, each speed would have equal weight. However, the times are not the same. We found that the car was driving 50 miles per hour for three hours and 75 miles per hour for only two hours. So since the car was driving at 50 miles per hour for a longer time, the 50 has more weight to it. So the average speed is closer to 50 than 75. So really, when we say average speed in physics, you could think of it as the time-weighted average speed, as opposed to the distance-weighted average speed. When an object like a car travels at different speeds over its journey, we're averaging the speeds based on their times and not on their distances. If a problem asks you to find the average speed, just divide the total distance by the total time and you'll be good to go.